Defaulting on your federal student loan may have negative consequences, including but not limited to increase of your debt, negative effect on your credit score, and ineligibility for federal financial aid programs. In addition, you may be subject to involuntary actions, such as administrative wage garnishments, treasury offsets, and litigation. Loan rehabilitation is one option for bringing your student loan out of default. Rehabilitation can provide you with a payment that is affordable based on your income, family size, and your state's poverty level. You will be asked to supply supporting documentation to confirm this information. To complete the rehabilitation process, you must make nine qualifying timely payments within a 10-month period, or nine consecutive payments if your loan is NDSL campus-based. Within approximately 60 days of making your ninth qualifying payment and submitting any needed paperwork, your loan will be transferred to a new servicer. You will have to continue making payments until the loan is transferred. Upon your loan being transferred to a new servicer, any remaining collection costs for this loan will be waived. You will no longer be subject to involuntary resolutions, and you may become eligible for the same benefits that were available to you before the loan defaulted. You will need to contact the servicer to establish an ongoing payment plan. Remember that each federal student loan may only be rehabilitated once. If you fall back into default after rehabilitating, you will not be able to rehabilitate this loan again. If rehabilitation sounds like it could be an option for your situation, contact your student loan holder. If you are unsure of who currently holds your student loan, please consult the National Student Loan Data System at nslds.ed.gov or 1-800-4-FED-AID.